Today I'm in Lincoln at Blackfoot Pathways Sculpture in the Wild. It's a 2015 grant recipient. I'm in front of what's known as Montana Memory, a teepee burner that was brought here to Sculpture in the Wild in September of 2014. The teepee burner originated at the Delaney and Sons Sawmill, one of five sawmills in the Lincoln area in the 1950s. The sawmill closed in 1971 and the operation moved to Canada, but the teepee burner remained. Fast forward to 2014 when Sculpture in the Wild Artistic Director Kevin O'Dwyer proposed moving it to the Sculpture Park. The teepee burner was dismantled and reassembled on site in September of that year. In June of 2015, the final pieces were put in place and O'Dwyer was able to recreate the glow of the teepee burner with LED lights. That's something residents recalled seeing at night back when it was still in use. For the Lincoln community, the teepee burner was a chance to transform a piece of their industrial history and preserve it for generations to come. The History Foundation helped to emphasize that point in time with a grant to help add the archival photos that you can see on the walls of the teepee burner. The series of archival photos are each four feet by six feet printed on steel plates and suspended inside the structure, offering a view back in time. Montana Memory is just one of the sculptures you'll see as you explore Blackfoot Pathway Sculpture in the Wild. It's a family-friendly environment with maintained walkways, picnic tables, and restroom facilities. Each sculpture is accompanied by a plaque about the artist and their work. You can plan your trip by checking out their website, sculptureinthewild.com. Thanks for traveling with the History Foundation. If you've taken a historical road trip, send the details and a couple of photos to melissa at mthistory.org. We'd love to share them. We'll see you on our next History Road Trip.